Okay, welcome. We're gonna take a look at, I found a good fix. A lot of people on the internet have a Keurig 2.0 and they have this problem. So they lift it up, they go to use it and the lid will not shut. The lid won't shut, okay? And the workaround most people put on the web is either to reach up under here, see if you can get a shot of that. And can you see that clearly? Mm -hmm. And you pull on this, let me get a light in there. So you pull on this piece and then it'll come down, but you don't wanna touch that because that's sharp. Or you come to the side here and you see this triangle here? So you pull on the triangle on either side and squeeze it and while holding the handle up and then you can shut it. And it's nice, it's a bit awkward and it kind of irritates me. So what we're gonna do is I come up with a way that we can put a couple washers. You see those? Regular washer, one small one. Um, I guess that's uh, that's about a, the small one's about a half inch. And the other one is uh, about uh, five eighths. And then what I've done is I've taken the five eighth washer and I held it with a pair of dykes, which are those heavy duty pliers and just hit the top with a hammer and bent half of it over. But if you see, I didn't bend it exactly in half. I bent it more of a third of it over because you only want about a third of it sticking up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this and we're gonna use a washer on top to create a right angle bracket. Um, and what this will do is it'll stop this from riding up too high and it'll stop it permanently and you can glue this on Poxy Don or whatever, you know, I'm just going to use some double stick tape today because I think I might actually make a little 3D piece on my 3D printer. But if you do it this way, when this piece comes down, it has to close flush and it won't get in the way of all this stuff. And it won't affect any of the magnets and stuff. So let's get started. It's really easy to do it. First, I'm going to take this off, the water, and you're going to make sure it's unplugged. If you tilt it, you want to drain the water from it. So we'll take this away, and the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to switch sides with my cameraman son here, and we're going to put this right here, and we're going to go up under here, and we're going to take out these two screws. Can you get a shot of the screws? There are two screws that hold the lid on, okay? Or I should say the cover of the lid. One's right here. Can you see that screw? Yep. Okay, I'm going to take that out. Oh, oops. Ooh. You're going to want to push down on the lid cover. So this is, this is the cover of the lid, not the handle, but the plastic cover. While well, you're doing this, so the screw pops out and doesn't get, get stuck up there. You don't want to lose the screw. This fix is only four screws in total. So one screw out. Do the other one. Where's the other one? There it is. Use a screwdriver that's the right size. You don't want to strip these either. And that one not quite unscrewed all the way. There's the other. Okay, now come up here. Now what I'm going to do is. I'm gonna pull this up. This starts to come up now. Mine, mine is, uh, uh, it has this little flange on it. So if you just kind of squeeze it together, it's flexible. Push it up through like that, okay? And then you have this all pushed backwards. You should be able to pull this handle down a little bit. You're gonna to have to release it, this, because that's the part that gets stuck. And then you should be able to pull that out. Now. You see this slot? Can you see that row? This fits on here. So when we put it back together, we're gonna make sure we put it back together like such. So two screws, you get the cover off, and um, you can actually see better if you shoot this from the side, bro. Um, uh, shoot it from this side because it's gonna get the, the, the window. This is the piece that when it gets stuck, and you can see, it's stuck right here. It went up too high, okay? The reason it does that is there are two real cheap little P 
pins that stick out there, like little blades that are supposed to keep this from going up too high and move in articulation with the top of it and they break off. So when, when you do this, I'm going to show you something. Let's first take this handle off to get this out of the way. This is also two screws, and that's all you really need to take apart. You don't actually need to take it any more apart than where we're at to fix it. But I'm going to take this off just to show you some of the broken pieces. So you don't need to do this part unless you want to. It actually is not difficult to take apart. It's not difficult to put together, and it just literally just... You kind of squeeze it a little bit and it snaps off. So the part, if you look into here, and we might have to get you a, um, when you take that handle off, you have to push on these to open it up because the handle does that. Down in here, okay, shine it down in here. Down in here, and I can't really get a good angle. Let's hold it right down here, right there. In Down in here, those tabs, keep that piece, you can come back out to here, riding. So what's going to happen is if you look down into here, you're going to find those two tabs. Or you can look up the gut of this thing. So if you want to take those two tabs out, just pull, squeeze this and pull it out. That's your uh, K-cup holder. And then take out, and just sit in there, this little drip tray. They might be sitting in here. If not, look back into there, and you can look from the top and look from the down. You can, you can put a paper towel there, try to rub it, uh, rub it and see if they're stuck there. But they look like little tiny squares about that big, and they broke off. And here's a picture of them. So that's what they look like, and uh, that's what breaks off. So what we're going to do as a workaround is we're going to use this magnet here or this alignment, it's not a magnet, but it's an alignment piece. And we're gonna mount this right there, and we're gonna put a little extra piece on top to keep it flush. And when we mount it, we're gonna mount it a little bit higher than the edge, and that will keep that piece from riding up too high. When it goes down, because it's a bent washer, it will not interfere with anything as it goes down. So here's how we're gonna do that. I'm going to take a piece. Today I'm just using adhesive, uh, a pretty heavy duty adhesive. Um, this is a two sided kind of adhesive tape. And I'll cut a piece appropriately sized for the side of this. And again, you don't have to take your system apart as much as I did. I did it more to show you. So. Um, can they see that pretty good right here along this edge back out a little bit so they can see the two sides of it and I will put light up there and then I'm going to put this adhesive right there okay so back out so they can see both sides here's one side here's the other side you see I put a bumper on there so the hard part for me is getting the red stuff off the other side of the adhesive. You got it. Good job, bro. So you can see from the side where that adhesive is. Now hold it right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be attaching this washer that's bent with the shorter side up to here, but not making it flush with the top of this, with this edge. I'm going to make it a little bit higher. So let me make it a little bit higher. And I'm putting it right below where this pin drops down. So the pin's going to hit it. That's my goal, is to get the pin to sit on it like that. Can you see that? Now, we're going to need one more. Because I tested this and it gets stuck sometimes, we're going to need this other washer on top. So what I do is I cut another piece of this. And I put this on the top 
And this is where we're gonna stick the other washer. Now we're gonna have to figure out how to get that off. Now you wanna do the magic? See if you can peel that off. That a boy. Good job. Okay, so we got that peeled off. So you got the half bent washer stuck to the side and then hold this right here. And now I'm just gonna take another flat, smaller half inch washer and I'm gonna stick it, not right on the outside, in a little bit and angle it down. Let me squeeze it again. So what happens is now when it comes up, it won't let it go up and get stuck, it stops it. When it goes down, you'll see it fits right in there and it doesn't get in the way. So it's an easy fix. Honestly, Kurg, you should send out a clip that can be mounted right there and help all these people out because it's a little piece of plastic that's needed and it's poor design for those little tabs that fell out. That's as easy as it is. It is. I'm gonna put it back together. So we'll start here with the handle. So if I put this down, the handle should sit. There you go. Should line up nice. So I line it up, put its two screws back in. I found it easier to get the uh, to get in there and clean it out with the handle off. I was just so happy when I got this fixed. I hope I can get this video out to all the people out there that are trying to fit their finger in here to pull us down every morning. So that's in. So it was kind of a little awkward getting this back in because you have to get this part to kind of slide onto this. It's not too bad. So what you do is you put this kind of in and you squeeze the sides back out a little bit. And you squeeze the sides, get them in, and then we pull this up. I'm gonna keep this down, okay? Keep this pushed in that way. There it goes. So once you get it down far enough, you gotta push it down this way far enough. When you slide it back, you see how nice this sits around here? And watch you don't sit it off to the side or off to the side. It should sit and seal all the way around. When it does, raise it all the way up and hold it here, pinch this. And we're gonna put the screws back in. I'll get them started with a little thumb screw. There you go. The screw replacement's gonna get me because I can't wiggle my hand. There you go. So I, I loosened the other one back down a little bit so I could adjust it. I'm gonna tighten these two down. Just thumb tight. Not really gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna check up here. Make sure it's set properly. But you can wash that, put that back in. This, the magnet, by the way, this magnet right here, if you look for a hack, these can do all sorts of pods if this magnet's in the right spot. There's a way to move this magnet, the farther it moves out, the more menu items you get on your system. But this magnet always goes towards the front. You kind of just wiggle it, sit it down, wiggle it back and forth like this, and it'll fall literally down in the spot, and then you click it. Now, you can return everything the way it was. And as you can see, the thing doesn't get stuck anymore. So if you look from the front, you can see our little fix here and go to the side, the other side. From that side, can you see it pretty well? You see the little screws on that little mount piece? And uh, can you get in a little closer? And you can see it's attached to this piece of plastic, the thing that was getting stuck. So hopefully that is, uh, helps a lot of people out there. And I know I'm glad when I get up and this thing just shuts the way it's supposed to. For a couple pieces of plastic, it's an easy fix. And you could actually glue those or epoxy those on um, so they're permanent. So thanks for watching.